2003 Chevy Trailblazer. I'm doing some work here in the front passenger side, doing some upper lower control arms, and I noticed the uh, the CV axle was flopping like a fish. So that would be the passenger four by four axle. So I bought a new one. I got underneath, I started wailing on it, trying to get it to separate from the oil pan from the four by four disconnect, and no. The axle broke instead, as you can see, piece of it's there, and the other half is in another room, it fell apart. So I figured, okay, I'll take the bolts out and just separate the whole thing, and I'll order a new 4x4 disconnect, which I did. Here it is. Here's the brand new one. So I waited to get this before I attempted to remove it, the old one. And here's what happened. And if you're watching this video, you're probably in the same situation as I am. So here it is when I tried to remove it. So basically what I did was, if you look in there, you see four spots for four bolts. They're the only bolts you should have to take off. And then that should come right out. It should separate. Well, it didn't. So I also had to take, see these black bolts here on the new one? I also had to take those out and separate the two halves. So then I was stuck with the back half. The oil pan side half was still stuck there. So I, I tried everything. I, I used WD-40. I used heat. I used pry bars. I used screwdrivers. And it broke. So here's where I'm at now. So here's the back of it. So it was like this up against the oil pan. And you see, see the broken? Well, that's stuck in there now. So I looked all over online and there's not a lot of information. You know, there's little bits. People uploaded pictures and stuff, but there's no videos. But uh, basically they have to drill this out and snap it without cracking the oil pan. This is the oil pan. If I crack that, that's a bigger nightmare. I'm not looking to have to get a new oil pan and take this one off and all that nonsense. So I'm thinking the easiest thing to do, when you first get it to this point where you have this broken piece, this will look smooth, and you'll think, man, how am I going to get that axle out of there? Because if I can get that inner axle out of there, it'll be easier to remove this without damaging this. But once you move the grease, you'll notice this is already pre-drilled and pre-tapped. And here's what fits in there. So I had this laying around, this piece of oil thread. Here it is. It's a quarter inch, 20 by 36 inches long. So my plan is I'm going to screw this in there because that axle just pulls out. There's a clip in there, just like on the axles, how you have to beat on them to, to defeat that clip to get it to pop out. Well, apparently that's the same thing with this axle. So I'm this inner axle. So I'm going to screw this into there. And being that it's three foot long, I could be way out here. I'm going to clamp these vice grips real tight and I'm going to beat it out with a hammer to try to pull it out because apparently that comes out this way towards the drive towards the passenger side not the driver side just the passenger side and it comes out this way so we're going to give it a shot i'll set up the gopro in there and i'll set this all up and i'll start beating on it and see what we got i mean you could try to use a slide hammer too if you have one if you have one that you know i looked them up a little bit and i saw one you know but it was three eight so that's not going to fit in that thread so I, I didn't see that they had fittings that i could put on there to drop it down to a quarter inch. I, I didn't see none of that. You know what I mean? So, uh, plus a lot of people were complaining about the slide hammer. Being that it's so short, you're in here. You, you know, you don't have enough room to really wail on that, that hammer. So being that this all thread is three feet, I can have it out here and stand next to it and, and beat it out. I'm going to smack that in vice grips this way and hopefully pull that axle out. So the only, only I'm here by myself, so I need two hands to do the whaling, so I won't be able to show that on video because the camera will be too far from here. So I'm probably just going to have it on the axle so you can see it pop out. You're just going to have to use your imagination that I'm hitting it with a hammer, the vice grips. Also, I watched, I watched a lot of videos, and I noticed everybody puts the jack stand under the frame here. Why? Look at this. You see that? That's actually a jacking point where you can jack the blazer up. Why not put it in there? Doesn't that look more safe where the frame can't slip off because it's actually hooked in there? 
I would use this. It's right here behind the steering gear. It's right behind it. There's that hole there. I would use that. Because uh, you see the shape of the frame? It's like rounded. There's a chance that could slip off. I'm just saying. You know, I'm just trying to help you. Well, let's see if we can screw it in. Come on. There you go. What do we got here? All right, it's going. All right, right there, it stopped. All right, so I think I'm going to use the mall. Here it is. So I got to wrench this on there. See what we got. Here we go. All right, there it started moving. Of course, the voice curves popped off. So it's partially out. So what's happening is the old thread is squishing and stripping. I'm gonna go a little tighter if I can. No dice. is not going to work. Give me a minute. I'm trying to get this situated. Seems to be the all thread is holding, but uh, the vice grips. Vice grips are no good, man, for this. right in the hand so now I'm thinking it's stuck on that piece of 4x4 disconnect there might be some kind of collar or something maybe that's the problem I don't know yeah see the voice grips keep popping off again Definitely moving. And hopefully I'm not making it worse. Yeah, I think it's stuck. 
there must be some kind of collar or something we won't be able to see until I eventually get it out Definitely coming. Ah. I'm supposed to hit the vice grips, not my thumb. But yeah, I hit the thumb. Yep. If the voice groups would stay on there, I think I'd be alright. But they keep coming off. Can't get it. This is crazy. Oh, I'm gonna have to come up with a different plan. So here's what I'm doing. You see this five pound maul here? I'm using that. So I got the vice grips clamped on here. Okay, and I'm holding it with one hand and I'm wailing on the back of the vice grip. I don't care if I wreck them, I wreck them. I'm, I need to get this out. I need to get this blazer up and running. But anyway, I'm wailing on this. But look what's happening to the oil thread. See it? It's just getting mangled. I also clamped these sideways and was beaten here to go this way. But that's not going to work. I, I think I got a better idea here. I'm, I'm going to give it a shot. I don't know where it is. I got a piece of angle here. I'm going to cut a little piece and I'm going to clamp the angle this way so I have a flange sticking up so I can beat on the flange. So let me set that up and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So here's the new plan. So I cut a little piece of angle and I clamp these vice grips sideways. Now, see I'm trying to pull it out so I can beat here with the hammer and hopefully this won't slip off the all thread. So I'll turn you back on the GoPro. You won't be able to see this part because I only have two hands. Let's give it another shot. I can't tell, I can't tell, it's bent. So now the oil thread is all bent up, but it definitely looks like it came out some more. Oh. All right, so here's where I'm at, it's the next day. Thankfully I have a second Vigil, that donkey Dodge right there. So uh, I wasn't stuck with just one vehicle. So I was able to walk away from this last night. I mean, I did my best. What I did was 
I took this piece of all thread, it's three foot long, and I screwed it into that axle. And then on the other end, I clamped this piece of angle with, with some vice grips. Let's see here. And as it's screwed into that axle there, I was able to beat on this metal bracket here, just beat on it, beat it out to try to get that inner four by four axle out. So uh, as you can see what happened, the oil thread started twisting. I started hitting my hands, I gave up. Today's a new day. So I'm gonna see about making a puller for this. I think that would be a little easier. I found these bolts inside of my van and uh, this is perfect fits in there nice screws right in. it's quarter inch and i believe the thread pitch is 20 it's like course 20 so it'll be quarter inch dash 20 i mean i don't know the terms i'm not you know i'm not into bolts and nuts but you get the idea and then whatever the length is this here is probably inch and a quarter two inches so my plan i need to i need to weld a rod or something on here and then I can screw it in there into that axle. And uh, then I'm gonna have to try to make some kind of pulling device. Let's see what happens here. So taking my time here, I went back and I looked at the clips. You know, this is the next day. I was able to look at the clips I took last night and to see what the problem is. So I had the GoPro in here video and, and I, I can't video out here cause I only have two hands and I'm by myself. So as I'm beating on it, I'm standing up. So all I see is this. I can't see what's going on there. But since I watched the clips of the GoPro, I was able to see this came out an inch. But if you look inside of there is the inner seal. It looked to me in the video that the inner seal itself was twisting and folding over and that's what's holding the axle. So apparently that axle comes out pretty pretty simple. You just have to defeat that clip, the same kind of clip that's on the axle, the CV axle when you pull that out. You have to bang on it to defeat that clip. Well, it's the same thing with that axle, but that axle's des designed to come out after you get the four by four disconnect out. And of course it's stuck, so that inner seal is stuck. And thankfully I have a new one here, let's look at it. So here's the piece that's stuck right here. This piece here, see I got this, this all broke off, that's right there. So what do you got here? You got about an inch. The inch is going into the oil pan. And you see the seal here, this black seal? Instead of it coming through the seal, for some reason it's folding the seal over. It's got a real tight tolerance, I guess, so it doesn't leak. But anyway, that's the problem I have. So I need to defeat the seal to get that axle out. Or now that I'm thinking about it, since this goes in an inch and it looks like I pulled the axle out an inch, I think I'm safe to work on, on this housing that's stuck without damaging that axle because since it's out an inch, that inch that came out, if I damage that, that's here anyway when it's reinstalled. And, you know, inside the oil pan, it's, it's apparently just a hollow tube that that axle goes through. So it shouldn't really affect anything. So I think before I try to make a puller, I think I'm going to try to get that piece out first. Then the axle should come right out. So uh, let, let's give it a shot. I'm, I'm going to heat it up a little bit and see if that breaks the corrosion free. And uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. So apparently this is the new one here, and this is what they did. See this relief cut? I'm trying to do this one here. See this relief cut they put here? Apparently that's supposed to stop this from happening again. Instead of the shiny chrome all the way around, that real tight tolerance, they made this relief cup, but you know, this is really seized on there. And it looks like anybody else that has this problem. Theirs is really seized on there. But uh, I, I gotta try to get this off. Let's get it. All right, I'm gonna attempt to drill two quarter inch holes. And try not to hit the oil pan. Let's see what we got here.
Now I'm gonna attempt a couple love taps with the Harbor Freight air chisel. I got this pointy bit on there. See if I can snap it. Now, this is my vehicle, so I'll take full responsibility.
thing's really rotted in there. will that axle come out so I can clean it up get all that fungus out of here we're gonna put this bolt in here and hopefully pull it out of there I'm thinking I already broke it free last night when I was beating on that oil thread oh man will you look at that look at this it's out so yeah that's what it was the seal here wouldn't let it come out excellent Can't believe it, but it's out. Let's have a look at it. Let's take it. Let me take it all. I had to put some gloves on. So here it is. It's unfortunate it's getting dark on me. But uh, let's take see if we can take a look at it. So this is the inner shaft. Yeah, it was jammed on that seal. some reason that seal was fighting it so before i reinstall this i'm gonna have to clean it up real good let's look inside there i'm gonna lay this right here for now let's see what it looks like in there see it's just a hole that goes literally through the oil pan so there's a seal over there it doesn't look like that seal was leaking. The little bit of oil you're seeing now is because I, you know, from me pulling the axle out. So the uh, the differential over there is probably empty. I noticed that's leaking too. So I'll eventually get to that side, but uh, I got to get this side all put back together first. Yeah, it was tough, but if you don't give up, you can easily handle this. I'm so glad I didn't damage the oil pan. Looks like the drill bit hit a little bit there. But uh, that, that oil pan is pretty tough. Because I smacked on it a few times with a hammer. And it didn't crack. I'll probably do another video of me putting this all back together. Everything possible I can replace, I'm going to replace. Because what I found on this Chevy Trailblazer... If you have a piece in this little corner of the vehicle, one piece that's rotten that you have to replace, you have to replace everything in that area. It's unfortunate, you know what I mean? But, I mean, think about it. One part rots, what you think the rest aren't going to rot? It's just one may be more obvious to the eyes. And uh, But I'm going to replace it all. 
everything that I can. I mean, of course, there's a few things that I can't get, like the yoke. And uh, I guess that's the spindle there, but I'm going to replace the ball joints, sway bar links, the strut. I took the old struts off. I, I actually put them on in 2018, but I'm going to try to get some new ones. I mean, they lasted, what's it been, 18, so it's been about five years, four years, five years. So yeah, I'll probably do another video and upload that whenever I can of putting this back together.